Hi, my name is Helena and today I'll be discussing the entry I developed in the life detection knowledge base titled Seasonality of Atmospheric Composition. So first, what is the life detection knowledge base? The Life Detection Knowledge Base is an online repository of our knowledge about the detection of signs of life. So essentially, it's a place where you can read about the supportive and contradictive evidence on a specific biosignature, which can be useful for instances such as a future robot or lander mission to distant planets, and it can tell future mission developers what signs of life they can look for. And this is an example of what the site looks like. And what are biosignatures? Biosignatures are like clues that tell us if life might be present somewhere. These clues can be a wide range of things, for example, specific substances, structures, patterns, or processes that are usually made by living things like plants or animals. Now, a little bit about the specific entry I was working on called Seasonality of Atmospheric Composition. On Earth, our atmosphere's carbon dioxide levels vary seasonally, as seen with the Keeling curve. And as you can see in this graph, there are seasonal rises and dips in carbon dioxide. This is mostly caused by Earth's annual cycle for vegetation growth. In the northern hemisphere's fall and winter, trees and other vegetation lose their leaves and decay, which releases carbon dioxide and increases atmospheric carbon dioxide levels. And then during the spring and summer months, plant photosynthesis peaks and absorbs more carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, which lowers atmospheric carbon dioxide levels. This is evidence that seasonal changes in atmospheric composition can be indicative of life. Now let's look at Mars. Hydrogen escape on Mars is the process by which hydrogen gas, which is a component of water vapor, can escape into space over time. A paper I read shows that Mars's hydrogen escape varies dramatically over a Martian year, and these seasonal changes play a big role in reconstructing the timeline of water escape throughout Mars's history and figuring out how Mars was transformed from a warm, wet planet to the cold, dry planet we see today. Thus, this is also evidence that the seasonal changes in Mars's atmosphere could indicate previous liquid water and therefore potential habitability. Thanks for listening and feel free to reach out with any questions.